What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I1 Tesla. That was a little intro to that Peter McKinnon does. If you're interested in photography and videography, you keep interrupting me. Anyway, I'm Brian from I1 Tesla, and today we're heading out to Home Depot, and I thought, well, let's, let me throw some cameras on the car, see if navigate on autopilot is any better, any different, uh, worse. Uh, it's a little windy day today, but it's a nice, bright, sunny day, and we're gonna see how it does. Or right, there's a interchange up here that it'll, it'll take it by itself with the new autopilot. And we're gonna see how well it does. Um, if I have to, if I have to take over at all, I tested this before when navigate on autopilot first came out. It did pretty well. And let's see if it does any better this time. So, navigate on autopilot. I gotta be on autopilot first. It's a beautiful day today. Well, 51 degrees, but it looks warmer than it is because the sun's out. There's no clouds in the sky whatsoever. Um, now it wants me to, car already wants me to change lanes into the slow lane. Now I have my settings set to, uh, what, do, what do I have it set to? Let's look together. Autopilot, navigate on autopilot beta, let's customize. I have it set to mild. Uh, and this update is uh, 2018.48. There is a new update, uh, .50 already, but there, that I think is just for the uh, charging port back there, uh, freezing issues and things like that. So that's what I think it is, but you know, there's probably a little tweaks here and there in that. So we're just going to drive here on navigate on autopilot, see how many times it tells me to change lanes, and uh, I'll speed through this. That's weird. This car's. I need to get over because this car is pulling off to the side of the road. They must have lost something. I didn't see anything in the road, but you know, hope everything's okay. Now that I change lanes, I wonder if it's going to want me to go back over into the uh, the slow lane since I'm actually I'm in the fast lane. You probably can't see on camera, but I do have my hand on the bottom of the wheel. This hand's right on the bottom of the wheel. I don't have the bag or anything on here. Uh, this is just my hand on the wheel, but the car driving. Once we get to the exit, I will adjust the speed with the steering wheel, adjust the nags with the steering wheel control, the uh, steering wheel nipples. Wants me to change lanes into the slow lane, finally but it canceled the lane change. I wonder why it canceled the lane change. Did it lose the line? That's pretty interesting. Or maybe it decided the last minute it didn't need it. Or it saw that semi up there and decided to stay on this lane. But I'm gonna do what the car says to do. Be a good boy, okay? Now the speed limit size 55 miles an hour. This should change. The speed limit changed, but my I have it set to six miles over the speed limit. Uh, now it wants me to change lanes, so I will. But it didn't change my max speed. So actually I'm, I'm traveling pretty faster here for the speed limit. Luckily, there's some cars in front of me that are going to slow us down. As typically, as long as you're moving with traffic, you're not going to get pulled over. There's not. There's some cops that are usually through here, but we should be fine if we just stay with traffic. My exit's up here anyway. In fact, I'm going to lower the speed limit because the exit's right up here and we don't actually get off. We don't speed up until we get off. That didn't make sense, but whatever. So I'm gonna lower 
average, so, so it's nine miles over the speed limit. And it should take this exit by itself. And once we get closer, I'm gonna completely let, let go of the wheel. I love how that map adjusts and uh, gives a bird's eye view when, the, when it's coming up. So I'm gonna use the uh, volume control to adjust the nags from this point forward. Now things have already gotten better, I, I could tell, because it would always want us to be in the fast lane before. So I'm gonna preemptively adjust the wheel so it doesn't nag us here. And this is the exit right here. It put the turn signal on and went by itself. Now you see, this is gonna split here and it should take the one on the left. High curvature detected. Now take the interstate 40 west ramp on the left. Ooh, that was a little bit of a jump. It lowered the uh, speed to 55 miles an hour. And I'm curious what it's gonna do up here when we merge back on to uh, 40 with cars in the way. Because I do need to get over because you see my exit's right off of here. It, oh, it wants us to uh, lane change. It's slowing down to get behind this car. Awesome, that's really cool. See if it says it again. Yes, it does. In 1, feet, take exit this is really cool. This is getting really close. This is getting really close. Although, um, although Tesla is warning everybody that full self-driving is very far away because of the government. But now take exit 151 on the right. Very, very impressive. In 1,000 feet. Take the US 21 ramp on the right towards Statesville. Now it goes off of navigate on autopilot. And I'm wondering what it's going to do. I'm going to hover my foot over the brake just now in case. Because this does split here. Right. It does split and it does turn and it's a red light. And it's not going to stop at the red light because it's not, it doesn't stop yet. Um, it. It probably sees them, it's just not uh, detecting. And I'm surprised it didn't come to a stop because of exits now. It does come to a stop because it knows GPS wise that it's at an exit. Pretty cool. Very impressed with how auto navigate on autopilot works, how well it, it, it is detecting lanes. And I can't wait for the next update where it's going to change lanes by itself, uh, even weaving in and out of traffic. That's gonna be pretty scary and pretty interesting how it does that. Um, is it gonna be better than a human? Is it gonna be predicting things so you don't have to slow down? Uh, kinda like kind of like might have been what it did when it wanted to change lanes back there, but it saw that semi up there and it decided not to at the last minute. Is it gonna predict those things? Is it gonna look farther down the road so like a normal driver, you don't slow down. You adjust lanes because you see slower traffic. You, you're supposed to anyway. You're supposed to not get right up on somebody, hit the brake and then decide to change lanes like a lot of people do. Uh, like I said, I was just heading to Home Depot. I gotta pick up something for my garage floor. Um, my flooring came in, just to give you a hint. I gave uh, a hint on my Patreon page. Uh, let them see the one of the colors. There's two colors. I, I have to do stuff to the floor before I can put it down, the concrete floor. So I actually have room, or so the water drains out of the garage. A diamond blade saw, uh, so I can cut some grooves in the concrete. I think yet, don't quote me on this. <laughs> I think we're gonna do a live stream where it's kind of a question and answer while I'm putting the floor down. She's gonna be there and uh, read off some of the questions to me. She's not gonna be there the whole time, but there's gonna be uh, super chats where you can put your uh, question up there and it stays up there longer. And when she gets back into the live ch uh, live stream, um, she can read those questions off while I'm doing the floor because I'm gonna be working while she does. She mans the camera and answers questions. Uh, but as always, stay positive, stay awesome. Got a lot of cool stuff planned and I'm gonna be pushing those things out first to my Patreon supporters on getting their take on what we should do for the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.